Yo, welcome back guys to a brand new PDC Geo video and today we're going to be taking a look at a deck that I think has some okay potential in the format and this is going to be Mega Salamence. Now Mega Salamence is not the greatest Mega, um, 230 HP, it's pretty bulky, um, it has a 1 retreat cost which is nice and we're going to look at its attack Savage Wings. So for a fire, a water, and a two energies which obviously can, you can manipulate with Double Dragon does 100 damage, and then you may discard as many basic fires as you want. Attach to this Pokemon any way you like, and it does 40 times the amount of energy you discard. So basically, Savage Wing can do 180 for 2, or if you discard 3, you're doing even more. You're doing 220. So in total, Salamence can hit hard with Savage Wing. But you know what makes Salamence even better? My dog is barking. But you know what makes it even better? Regular Salamence. This thing is also really good. I mean, Mega Salamence has the attack Beastly Fang, which is an extremely strong attack. When you're playing against Volcanion, when you're playing against Volcanion, when you're playing against Mewtwo, when you're playing against Rayquaza, any deck that uses a lot of EX Pokemon, you are going to destroy them. I mean, this is a very, very, very good attack, and it arguably is better than Savage Wing. So, we got this normal Salamence, and with this, we are going to be running... The Stadium Shrine of Memories. Oh my god, is my dog gonna shut up? <laughs> but yeah, we got Shrine of Memories in here. This card is really good for using Beastly Fang instead of Savage Wing. There are gonna be situations where you don't want to use Savage Wing, so then you go to Beastly Fang. So, there's many ways we're gonna power up Salamence a little quicker. It's not that slow, but we do run Reshiram, which has the ability to Turbo Blaze, where you can put a Fire Energy from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. So basically, you can use this to build up Salamence on the bench. Gets you more energy in play in one turn, which can also be very powerful. I mean, you could even turn one Beastly Fang something with the right combo. Or maybe with Max Elixir, you can even do like a turn one Dragon Strike with Double Dragon. So it's possible. Uh, one Hydreigon, just to have that free retreat for Dragon Road. We do run one Giratina EX, and this, you know, you don't really need to run. Um, but, you know, if you're playing in something like Vespaquin, or deciding to use a lot of special energy, then Chaos Wheel is going to help you out a lot. So we are going to run one Giratina, two Shamans for draw support, and then we got one Hoopa, just so that we can grab our EXs and whatnot. So those are all our Pokemon in the deck. We can go to the items. Two Max Elixir, just another way to get energy on our Salamence early on. Obviously, you can't do it to Mega Salamence, you can do it to Normal Salamence. Three Mega Turbos, when you do use Savage Wing, you gotta discard the Fire Energy, so you can put them back on with Mega Turbo to keep the stream going. Uh, two Special Charge, Double Dragon, we kinda need Special Charge, so I think two is good, just in case we lose Special Charge, we need them. Uh, one Switch, Switch works well, the rest of you can switch into like another Pokemon, and then Turbo Blaze, all kinds of stuff. One Mail, I wanna run more Mail, I know one Mail is like the most awkward line of Mails to run. I think one Mail is fine enough, four Ultra Balls for searching stuff, four via Seekers, to grab your supporters, four Shining Memories, four, again, using Salamence for Beastly Fang, uh, two Lysander, bring something up, knock it out, three N, and four Sigma for Drawsport, one Ranger, if we run into something like Red Ice or like Glaceon, or I don't even know, maybe even Giratina, if we really need to use our Double Dragons, we got Ranger to help us out a little bit, one Float, uh, Float's just nice, even with Hydreigon, you never know, you might need the Float for Hoopa, or Hydro, or, you know, Garbodor. Three Salmon Spirit Lines so that we can evolve our Mega Salmon to our turn ending. Four Double Dragons. And then we got a total of eight Fire Energies. So this is our Salamence deck. I like it a lot. I really think Salamence has some decent potential. With GXs being out, it's kind of hindered. But I think it works fine. So anyways, we'll have to do a few matches with the deck. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright, here we go guys. We'll find a match with our Salamence deck. And let's see if we can play something. I'm hoping we don't play against a GX deck. Because that is like this deck's worst matchup. Our GX theme decks. We see Grass and Colors. Most likely a GX deck. Um, we still have Savage Wing, but, you know, still Beastly Fang. I want to use it. And, okay, we win the coin flip, which is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So, let's see. Starting hand, not very good. I really do not like losing Mega Salamence this early on. Unless I can top deck, like, a Shaman or, like, an Ant or something. Otherwise, this hand ain't too good. I don't even, I don't, I really don't want to waste this Max Luxor either, so... Alright, a Giratina. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Uh, I mean, man, we can Chaos Wheel, maybe. We don't get anything. Nope. Alright, we're going to have to discard a Special Charge and a Salamence. I really don't like losing my boy Mega Salamence, but we have to. We can play down a second Sally. My opponent's probably playing Vile Plume, so i got to be ready for that. So We do get a Fire, which we can put onto Salamence. Okay. We will Ultra Ball away... 
and and fire and we'll probably just grab hoopa and with hoopa i'm gonna grab a shaman and a hydreigon or maybe just a hydreigon now nah, we'll grab both shaman and hydreigon okay we'll do this i want to play the rest ram down but i can't unfortunately i gotta play one or the other okay we'll do shaman first maybe we can get like a switch or something so shaman for three nope okay um i mean we could retreat but there's nothing to retreat into so i think i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pass i don't really see what else we can do with this hand uh if we lose the giratina then i'll be happy because then i can actually retreat and rest ram do turbo blaze try to get more energies on uh one thing with lorantis and we'll see this is gonna be lorantis vile plume now i really don't like that ultra ball it just gave him more stuff uh, Beastly Fang, you know, if we have to use it this turn, Beastly Fang isn't the worst option because maybe he plays a bunch of Shamans down. I don't think, he, I think his only EXs are just going to be Shamans. Maybe he plays one Trevenant or maybe a Leafeon. Maybe he plays Sepa. I don't know. So let's just hope he doesn't get Valpum in play. I could have VS Seeker in case we got to end. Maybe I should have done that, but I didn't really see a point in it. I'd rather discard my VS Seeker. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just hoping my opponent doesn't get much. I'm glad he's having to uh, use a bunch of Shamans to dig. This is really good. All right. Hopefully, he just whiffs his turn and gets, like, nothing in play. And then he has two Shamans in play the entire game. Which are going to make Beastly Fang do some damage, which is good. So, we're going to have to build up a Savage Wing soon. So, hopefully, off the Sycamore, we can get something, like, that'll help us. We do see the Sycamore getting rid of a Revitalizer and a Vile Plume. I still think he's going to be able to get this uh, turn one Vile Plume, though. Or at least a turn one Lorantis. Right, there's a level ball. I mean, he still doesn't have Force of Giant Plants in play. Grab the Spinner Rack, alright, that's fine. I definitely think, okay, you know what, we'll play Hydreigon down. Having that free retreat, I think, is going to be really important. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, Hydreigon coming down, I think, is a good option over Reshiram, to be honest with you. So there's a level ball. Grabby Formantis. He hasn't played a single Force of Giant Plants or a male, which kind of scares me. We'll see if he can even get any combo going. So just a Formantis. Okay. And, okay, a Synthesis. And he's probably going to attach it to his bench. I mean, there's no way he's going to attach it to his active. Okay. Alright, let's see. What do we top deck? Nice. We need to get as many of those down as we can. Uh, we'll do Shrine of Memories just in case, you know. And go Sigmore. Hopefully we get a Double Dragon and a Mega Salamence and some more energies. Okay, perfect. Alright, so we could do this. We can even Mega Turbo, which I'll do since, you know, we can't use items anyways next turn. So, we'll do Trainer's Mail. Hopefully we find a Supporter. We do. Okay, nice. We get a Sycamore next turn, which is perfect. Because I'm expecting the Item Lock to come play. I really don't want to lose two Shrine of Memories, though. I mean, maybe I could have grabbed N or be a Seeker for N. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just do Basely Fang for the Knockout. And those two Shamans are helping me do 110. So, take a prize. Hopefully it's something good. Lysander. All right. Maybe we could Lysander and Savage Wing and Vile Plume and get early item lock. I might actually do that. So all I have to do is discard one Fire Energy, which I can afford to do. But next turn, we can Sycamore and then just Savage Wing and take out Lorantis GX if he gets one into play. Um, I'm just hoping he doesn't get Vile Plume down this turn. Because if he does, we're going to be out of Salamence Spirit Links, which could be a bit of a problem. So hopefully we can get one. I actually wouldn't even mind... Oh no, I don't know. Let's see what else he does. So just a Grass. Okay. Sycamore, uh oh. Hopefully he gets rid of like a vile plume or something. No, another sycamore. That might help him help us, maybe, you know. Sycamore is a way you can kinda get out get rid of your handful of items. So just a gloom. He hasn't played a fortune plants down. There's no way he's whiffing them. Okay, there's one. Can he get the vile plume in play or not? And he does. Alright. I mean We do have two Lysanders. So we only just 40, which I'm happy for. So yeah, we got another Lysander chill on our deck. All we need to do is get one fire energy, and then we just take him out. But he's actually putting energy on his vile plume, too. Okay. All right, top deck gods. Okay, I don't need that. So we'll do the Shrine of Memories, which, I mean, he does give him access. What is Gloom and Monish's attack? Fire energy. We whiff. Are you joking me, game? The one time we needed a fire energy, and we whiff. <laughs> Dude, I give up with this game. All right. That is a joke. <sighs> okay. 
That is a joke. I wish we could discard double dragon, but we can't. <sighs> we whiffed a fireman. How many did we have? We have two on our active. Yeah, we had like six. I can't believe we whiffed. If we didn't whiff that fire, this thing would have been knocked out, and we would have been in a way better spot. Alright, well... I can still do that, and I can still... I mean, we're not getting knocked out, though. Actually, he could Chlorocyte. If he puts a grass on, he could Chlorocyte to knock me out. So I think I'm just going to do the Savage Wing and discard the two fires. All he has to do is put one more grass on and Chlorocyte knock me out, so we might as well just do the 180. I can't believe we whipped that grass in the fire, though. That's so annoying. We would have been able to knock him out, and we would have been in a better spot. That is super bad. I Maybe I could have powered up Chaos Wheel, but it is what it is. So there is an N. Okay. So one problem here is if we're going to get another Salamence in play, we might have to, like, sacrifice something. Like, let something take damage. Which, Reshiram is the perfect bait for that. So, we see Ariados coming down. Doesn't really matter. I mean, if he doesn't Kale Salamence this turn, I'm going to be pretty happy. If I can just retreat and then BC Fang him. So, yeah, he does go with the Chlorocyte GX. We can end him to two, or four, sorry. Salamence, you're a trooper, but unfortunately you just, you screwed us over big time by not getting that fire energy to knock him out, but whatever, moving on. Okay, another Mega Salamence, we can't play him down, but we can end him to four. And best case scenario, he draws into a handful of useless item cards. Wow, we can't do VS Seeker though, Pokemon Ranger only works for attacks, so we can't do that either. But we can basically fang and knock out this Lorantis and take our prizes. So what are we going to get? Ultra Ball, not bad. And another Ultra Ball. That is actually bad, I just realized. How many Sycamores? We got one left. We have to take out Wild Plume. So we see a Formantis coming down, okay. Honestly, I might even take the time to just Mega Evolve if I can, which I can. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I really, I'm really tempted just to retreat and sit back with Reshiram and try and build up a Mega Salamence. He had a Sycamore. Of course he get a Sycamore off and in. But oh, he actually gets rid of another Lorantis, which is good. If he doesn't get one and a Forest, then that's going to really help us a lot. Can he get it? Nope. Nice. Okay. So, what are we going to top deck? That is really lucky. We'll put that fire on. We'll go with Sycamore. We can knock out Vile Plume, and I doubt he can get another one into play, which is good. So yeah, I think we're going to have to knock it out. So let's go with the Dragon Strike. Knock out this Vile Plume. I mean, he's not going to be able to knock out Lorantis. He's got to do Flower Supply. I think as, if he doesn't get a Vile Plume in play, we win the game. Unless he Lysander's up Hoopa. Because we already used up our Switch and a Float Stone, right? No, we still have Float Stone. Yeah, we win... We can win the game with the Lord, if he doesn't get Lorraine. So we see a float going on Shaman. Okay, there's an Acro Bike. I mean, we took out Viral Plume. He has access to items now, which is kind of bad, but it's fine. I mean, this thing, Chlorocyte, can't really do much. And I think I'm just going to retreat into Reshiram and Mega Evolve, even if he has a Lysander. He didn't even attach a Grass. I don't even think it matters anymore. So we'll do Shrine of Memories. We will Salamence Spirit Link. We will Ultra Ball away this. And Salamence Spirit Link. We will grab our last Mega Salamence. We still have a VSC Garden in end, so if for some reason we get long cards, it won't matter. If we had a Lysander, though, we would be able to win, but nope. We can do this. We can Double Dragon the Giratina, just in case. And we can basically fang and take out his area dose. I mean, there's no way he's going to be able to knock out Salamence with a Lorantis doing 40 damage. So, I think we're fine. We got a float, so if he Lysander's up Hoopa, tries to stall us and tries to deck us out, we'll just float the Hoopa, retreat, win the game. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, there's a male. I mean, how many energy? Eight? Nine? So, he probably has like one left, or maybe he only plays nine grass energy. I mean, I think we win the game. There's Lysander, so I was I was predicting that. I mean, it doesn't matter what he keeps up. It's going to get knocked out. So there's a flower supply for 40. Probably has another Lysander, so it's probably his goal is to just Lysander out Shaman and try to knock it out and win the game that way. But guys, we win the game. It's all good in the hood. Very, very interesting match. Um, 
you know, if you can't get your uh, Spearling on your Salamence quick enough, you can definitely get screwed over badly. So we'll go with the Savage Wing, get rid of one, two, three fires, and we are doing 220, knocking out Lorantis GX, winning us a game against a GX deck. Again, Savage Wing is good against GXs, and BC Fang's good against GXs. So it's kind of a double coin. And speaking of coin, can we get like a lot? No, 40 cells. Home for like 100. But it is what it is. So. Yeah, I think I'll catch you guys in another match with our Salamence deck. See you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, here we go. We'll find the second match with our Salamence deck and see how this goes. And hopefully we can play against an all EX deck, show off the power of BC Fang a little bit. That'd be great. So, yeah, hopefully we can do that. All right, so let's see. I'm hoping I don't run into a Hammer deck. I've been playing against a ton of Hammer decks, and it's really bugging me because the Hammers are really annoying. Whenever I get Hammered and I realize my opponent's playing a bunch of Hammers, I'm out. I dip. I concede. I don't have time for that garbage. Alright, we do win the coin flip, so I guess we're going to evil tall garb with Tauros. Tauros isn't that big of a threat when we get three fires on, Savage Wing one-shots it. What is this hand? This hand is absolute garbage. We... I, I don't know what to say about this hand, dude. Holy cow, it sucks. I'm not even going to bother that Sycamore. I honestly can't. I'm not losing two Salamence Spearlings and two of my charges. Especially if these Evil Tall decks play Enhanced Hammer and Team Flare Grunt. No thanks. Can we top thicken in? No, of course not. Uh, Alright. What to do? What to do? What to do? I can't do much. If I Sycamore, I'm losing so many important resources. I think I'll just pass, make my opponent, I don't know, end me. Maybe he'll be like, oh, look at his hand, it's, it's pretty small. So, I guess we'll do that. I mean, he still doesn't know I'm playing Salamence. Let me just lower my Web King a little bit. I need to balance it a little more. Alright, there's a male, Max Elixir. And he's going to be able to get those Dark Guards going, which ain't fun. So, yeah, I'm hoping he ends me here. Because I there's no way I'm going to do that sick more. Even if we top deck like a Salamence, no way I'm going to do it. And he plays Hoopa too. This is perfect. Hmm. You know, that Hoopa makes me actually not really want to care much for Mega Sally now, because, I mean, yeah, he's going to have a bench full of the X's, so basically Fang alone can do work. You don't even need the Mega Evolution. So, maybe we can do Sycamore next turn. I guess we will. Unless he ends me. Um, so I'll be fine with that. So there's a Shaman, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, if I can put that in camera. Fingers crossed, he ends me. So, we just gotta wait and see if he goes with the end. Experience share, uh, that keeps the energy in play, that's not very good. Another one! Hmm, this is the time drive, which tool scrap is in the format. He does play Silent Lab, so I guess he doesn't run Parallel City then. And he doesn't end me, which is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, please don't top deck a bad card. I, whatever, I I don't have a choice, man. I don't have a choice. Oh, I'm not even gonna look. Great, we didn't even get anything off of that. Um, okay. We'll do the memory so we can actually play Shaman. We'll float the Giratina. We'll put a Fire Energy on it. I could have put the double dragon down, but I don't know what I'm going to enhance the hammer. We already we just lost our two special charges, right? Okay, uh, we can play down Reshi Ram. Uh, we can retreat into Reshi Ram, and we can pass. This hand sucks. We didn't get a Salamence down, which is really upsetting. The fact that we had to lose all of our special charges and Salamence and two Salamence Ramblings and a Mega Salamence to top it off. Which I guess isn't that bad if we did lose Salmon Spearling, so technically I'm okay with that. So he just lost himself up Shaman, which I'm fine with, I guess. I mean, I would have liked Fresh Ram to stay in the active, but at this point, I don't even care anymore. We're gonna have to play in. I don't want to do this, but we got no choice. We gotta, we gotta start getting some Salamences into play. Or not. I just don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna retreat into Reshi Ram. I really don't want to lose Shaman right now. I, where are my Salamence's and Ultra Balls? 
Why are you doing this? This is like one of the best situations I could have asked to be in where my opponent puts five EXs on his bench and I can't even find any Salamences. I'm going insane, guys. And meanwhile, my opponent's just going to sit back and start setting up. I'm not going to be able to do much. The best I can hope for is Salamence, Max Elixir, Double Dragon Energy, and like a Lysander on a Darkrai and shut him down. But other than that, kind of up the creek without a paddle. Alright, there's a Sycamore. Getting rid of... Okay, got rid of VS Seeker, which I'm fine with. Again, Rest Ram, kind of just going to sit back, take some damage. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Now, honestly, if I do ever do Lysander, I'm probably just going to bring up the one with the Experience Share to get rid of that. Because Experience Share is going to keep the energy in play. So there's Oblivion Wing for 30. Pardon me. I mean, this is just bad. You never want these situations when you're playing Speed Darkrai. So, what can we top that? Okay. We can Hoopa. Finally. We can get two of our Salamences. So, yeah, it looks like one was prized. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll play down the one. Play down a second one. We'll do this. We'll be a secret for N. Or could nah, I could have Sycamore, but it is what it is. I might have a turn where I just Mega Evolve anyways without just you know ending our turn. So, all right, this hand actually improves a little bit. Again, I just hope my opponent doesn't run any enhanced hammers because we cannot afford to lose our double dragons this quickly. So we're gonna have the Turbo Blaze, Fire on, and pass. Right now, our hand. It's not a bad hand, but the position isn't so hot. We have to find Switch, which we still have, right? We didn't discard the S. So we have to find our Switch, because we used our Floatstone. We can't play Hydreigon down, because there's no room on our bench, unless he knocks something out. So, we're just going to sit back a little bit, and maybe just build up our own Salamences. But my opponent is going to keep getting energy in play. This is not good. This is not good. If I had a quicker start, and I didn't have to discard so much resources so early on, I think we would have been in a better spot. So there's a Sycamore... And, wow, we get rid of even more Versus Seekers. I'm actually surprised he didn't just go with the N there. Um, I mean, kind of a questionable play. Yeah, I don't really see why he can just N. But it is what it is. There's Enhanced Hammer. Oh, God. Hopefully this dude does not run anymore. And hopefully he just screws off with those Enhanced Hammers. Oh, my God. And he keeps hitting Max Elixir. This is just... Oh, it's lovely. Okay, at least he doesn't have a darkness discard. There's Ultra Ball. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use this time to just Mega Evolve and end my turn. Rush Ram, you're putting in work. Just chilling. So, I'm just gonna Mega Evolve. I'm not playing the Double Dragon down quite yet. I don't see a point in doing that right now. Again, it could easily just get Enhanced Hammer to my opponent plays too. So, I'm just not gonna play it down quite yet. We'll play it down the time is right. The sad thing is, my opponent has amassed a ton of dark energies. So there's an N. Alright, if we can get a Switch, a Double Dragon, and a Lysander, I'll be happy. So let's see, can we get it? Ooh, yeah, we're close. Oh, eh, do we, wait, we, have we played Lysander? Never mind, nah, I was thinking we had a Lysander discard to be a secret for it. Never mind, false alarm. So there is that. Alright, we're gonna have to sacrifice an EX, so I guess. I'm just gonna sacrifice Hoopa. It's got the biggest retreat, right? Might as well. Might as well just take Hoopa out. Because since we already used our float and we're gonna probably use our switch soon, I, you know, I don't mind losing Hoopa. Then we can end him to four and take out his Dark Ride. So, how much is this thing doing? There's a parallel. We'll get rid of this and we'll get rid of Shaman. We can just parallel city, so it's all good. How much is this who uh, how much is this dark right doing? 210. So it's not okay, if he gets another dark down, it is I don't know. We might actually be able to survive this turn. Uh so we can play down the Giratina. Or bring it active, I guess. We can do this. We can do that. I'm glad he's not paralleling himself. We can max elixir and try to get another energy on Salamence. Nope. Alright. Here we go, VS Seeker for N. We gotta hope to get a double dragon off this. We could, okay, have we discarded any energy? Alright, if we get either like a Mega Turbo or a double dragon and an energy, we might be good. What do we find? Shaman, good enough. 
good enough. So we'll Mega Turbo the Salamence. We will... I'm going to have to get rid of something. I'll just get rid of these two. doesn't matter anymore. So, okay, all of our Double Dragons are in our deck, so none are prize, which is good to see. We'll Shaman, and we'll do Setup. Hopefully we get... All we need is one energy. Okay, thank God. Thank God. I was hoping for Salamence Spearlink, too. I'm just going to put a Fire on. This way we can set up Savage Wing for next turn. And we will... Do the Beastly Fang for the knockout on this Dark Rai, doing a ton of damage because he has all these EXs in play. And uh, yeah, we can get either we can get a Salamence Spirit Link, hopefully if it's prized. Now he's gonna be able to get a bunch of energies back, but we might be okay. We end him to four. He's really low on versus seekers. So let's see, two prizes, Salamence Spirit Link. Yes! And another Salamence. That's also pretty good. Okay. Uh yes, yeah, so he's low on VS Seekers. I think he might be really low on resources at this point. There's an energy army. I'm hoping I can't. I'm too lazy to do the math, but I'm really hoping this doesn't knock me out. Like, I'm praying. I'm praying it doesn't knock me out. I'm too lazy to do the math. Okay, 220, we live. Salamence, you legend. I mean, basically, Fang is still knocking him out, so. Yeah, we'll do this. Well, Trainer's Mail, can we find that Salamence Spirit Link? No, but we can end him to four. Might as well just burn the end. Can we find Salmon Spirit Link, please? And please don't enhance Hammer me again. No, what is his hand? <sighs> Alright, whatever, it's fine. It is what it is. BC Fang, knocking him out. We're obviously going to get knocked out in return, but... We are, we're really close to winning. I mean, I, in a better situation, I would have liked to have tackled this Salam in that Salamence and just use this one for, like, a big Savage Wing knockout. There's Max Elixir. Oh, the dream might be real. If he... If, as long as he doesn't end me to two, we might be able to win this game. Win. Never mind. Alright, well, hold on. Do we have Mega Turbo left? Okay, we do. He plays Hammer, which is really frustrating. Brock's Grit. Okay, that's fine. I don't even mind. He still might be able to win this turn. Unfortunately, he enhanced hammered me, but whatever, you know. Every deck plays hammer because, you know, it's, it's an OP card. So we're going to get knocked out. Okay. I'm really hoping we don't top deck like a fire energy. That would actually be pretty bad. Either Salmon Spirit Link or Double Dragon. Shrine? Okay, I'm fine with that. Max Elixir? Nice. Okay, we hit. That's all I needed to know. What Pokemon do we have left? Uh, if we Ultra Ball, we grab Salamence, so... We'll go with the Sycamore. Can we win? Okay, I'm fairly... Fairly certain... We're knocking him out. 180... Fairly certain this is a win. Like, don't quote me. But I'm pretty sure this knocks him out, so. I mean, just in case. We'll get the Mega Salamence down. I mean, you never know. Pretty sure this knocks him out, so. Basically, Fang. No, it's doing 170, isn't it? No, 160. It lives! Oh boy. If he gets one more Dark in play, he can knock us out, I think. Nah, he had Lysander, dude. We were so close to winning. If we, you know, if we had a Mega Turbo off of that, we could have won the game. Because, yeah, or, ah, dang it. Bit of a, I mean, he was going to knock us out anyways, but whatever. I don't know why he slow rolled, that would have just been a knockout. Sadly, we lost that match. But what can you do? Can't do much about it. And I got a message. No, I'll read that after. Alright, whatever. Find another match. Fourth. All right, here we go, guys. We'll find another match with our Mega Salamence deck, and yeah, let's go. Hopping right into a match. Hopefully, again, you know, no yet, no GXs. All right, and all Psychic deck. Mewtwo, I'm fine with. So let's see. Is it going to be my boy Mega Mewtwo, or is it going to be something else? Most likely, is Mega Mewtwo. I mean, he has a Mewtwo coin. So can I get a rip in the chat? Can I get a rip in the chat? All right, let's see. Will we win? No, we don't. That sucks. 
Alright, hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping times 50 million trillion. We got a restroom. Start, it'll be perfect. So, yeah, here we go. What is this hand gonna be? Nice. Alright, that is the hand I wanted, as long as we don't get in. So, yeah, this hand is pretty good. We got the restroom start, which is honestly the most perfect thing. So, it is gonna be Mewtwo with Timer Ball. Mewtwo Lunala, then? I don't know. But hey, you know what? Mewtwo alone gets can get wrecked easily, so. I, I think this might actually be Mewtwo alone. He's actually mulliganing a lot, which is really, really good. So, I mean, he might still end me, though, even if he draws a bunch of cards. I No, I guess this is literally just, like, speed Mewtwo. So, I'm hoping then he doesn't realize I'm playing Salamence, and he just ends up playing, like, a bunch of EXs on his bench. And then we can just, boom, smack him heavy with Salamence. Ah, uh, yeah, this has to be some kind of speed. I don't think he plays Garbodor. Because I haven't seen a float, a Trubbish, or a Garbodor. Well, obviously not a Trubbish, because he hasn't got a basic. Finally, he finds one. And I'm honestly hoping we don't get end either. Because this hand is pretty powerful. I mean, honestly, if we could, we might even Beastly Fang turn one. If we get, like, the right combo. I'm smelling it, man. I'm smelling it today. So we just gotta wait here. My opponent most likely just got a normal Mewtwo start. I don't really see much else he could have started with. And, yeah, I'm hoping this dude just plays the X's down, and then we can do stuff. I mean, we even have Savage Wing, even if my opponent doesn't have that many X's. We still have the Savage Wing option, which all we need is three Fire Energies and Savage Wing KOs. Any Mewtwo wise, so he tries to get into play, which is honestly perfect. So, yeah, my opponent, though, okay, finally, 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 I was waiting for him to put a Pokemon down. Alright, so there we go, and we can draw a few extra cards. We get two Pokemon to start with. I'm hoping he doesn't play Wobbuffet. That'd be... I have a feeling he's going to start with Wobbuffet. Okay, that's actually a decent hand. And, nope, double Mewtwo. Okay, please do not end me. This hand is amazing. Please do not end me. If you end me, I'm going to cry. Mewtwo Y Spirit Link. Okay. And nothing nice. Okay, here we go. Hydreigon. Nice. I like seeing you, buddy. We'll do Shrine. Uh, it does set up damage change, but I don't really mind. It doesn't really matter. We'll do Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Shrine of Memories and N. And Hoopa is prized. It's kind of scared of that, but it is what it is. Home Hoopa wasn't prized, but whatever. Gotta live with it. So we'll put the Double Dragon on. We'll Turbo Blaze. Honestly, though, I really hope my opponent doesn't knock me out next turn, though. That could be um, possible. We'll Shaman for three, I guess. Let's see. Can we find more good stuff? Okay, we get a Salmon Spear Link, which is, I guess, a good stuff, you know. We can even Ultra Ball, get rid of Special Charge, and Mega Turbo. We can grab another Salamence. We could even grab Giratina. I don't know, though. Is Giratina worth it, guys? Chaos Wheel, is it worth it? We'll Shaman. And we'll set up for five. Can we get, like, Max Elixir, maybe Trainer's Mail? Mega Turbo. Alright, we'll grab this, and then next turn, we will do the Sycamore. So... Yeah, because I don't want to lose a Mega Salamence and a Double Dragon. So you bring him up, and we can do a Beastly Fang. It's not doing a whole lot. I mean, actually, it's doing 110, two shots him. So this sets him up. If he doesn't knock out Salamence, then we are going to dominate. If not, then then. But I have a feel, I have this weird feeling my opponent will knock out Salamence, which... Oh, I really, really hope he doesn't knock out Salamence. Come on, Salamence, you are a trooper. There's a DCE... Uh, that's, not, that's not good. And a switch. So he's actually forced to do switch, and we don't have a Lysander, though. But no, my opponent actually concedes the game. Seeing the big threat of Salamence, we had a tournament ticket off the wheel, which is kind of annoying. I was hoping for some coins. We literally are one off from buying a Sun and Moon pack, so a little bit of a bummer there, but hey. Ooh, 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 it is what it is. Let's keep finding some matches. Alright, Chico T. Chick Chicota? I almost said. I I thought that was like Chikorita for a sec, or some like weird version of Chikorita's name. So, I think this is Zogaleo, uh thing though. Hmm. Again, Savage Wing, if my opponent's playing GXs, we got Savage Wing, so that's fine. Alright, Shame and Start, not really too happy about, but this hand is still pretty powerful nonetheless, so I'm fine with it. I lo look at the artwork on this Mega Salamence. Isn't that some sick artwork? Like, look at it. I love the Mega Salamence artwork. I really wish there was like a full art Salamence and Mega Salamence. That would be awesome, but there isn't, unfortunately. So you just gotta be stuck with the promos, which took me a while to get, man. Those Mega Salamence. I mean, I had the Mega Salamence for a while, but it took me a while to get the other ones, so yeah. Alright, I knew it was gonna be this. I figured. 
So let's get rid of. Okay. We'll get rid of fight at trainers, man. Like I wanted to use that and try to get max elixir, but it's fine. We'll grab. Oh, you gotta be joking me. Two of our Salamences are prized. Boy, that is not fun. Not fun at all. So, alright, whatever. It is what it is. I don't really think we're going to need Giratina. He's probably just playing Psychic Energy. So, Giratina, you're kind of out of the picture, unfortunately, buddy. So, we'll do this. We'll put the Fire Energy on. We'll play Shaman. And, I mean, we can end him out of any, like, things he grabs here with Arrow Blitz if we can find an end soon. There's a Max Elixir. Ooh. Ooh, it even hits. Even nicer. And, um, I'm gonna pass. I don't really see a point in doing much else. Our hand is pretty good. So, what I'm hoping for is we get, like, a float zone or switch. We can retreat the Shaman into Salamence and knock him up. But no, just a pass. Wow. Not much. All right. I will take it. We do gotta lose a special charge, but we still got one more in the deck. So, let's go with the Sycamore. We gotta lose an end, which could be pretty good for a Blitz, but hey, it's all good. Alright, oh, we didn't get, oh, it's really, ooh, we don't even, can't even ultimate for Shaman. Pfft. Dang it, dude, I was, if we got a double dragon, we could have knocked him out. Hmm. Um, I guess just sit back. I don't, there's no point in doing Beastly Fang for 10 damage. There's, like, no point at all in doing that, so we're not going to bother with Beastly Fang right now. And next turn, we'll just via Seeker for N, see how that goes. So, he gets a Soul Lay on play. Alright, so I'm kind of glad I... I mean, building this thing up is fine. We need to build up a Savage Wing, and we need four Savage Wings to take out Soul Leo. Can we do it? Does he run Shaman at all? Uh, he probably doesn't, because he plays Talonflame. I don't really see many Talonflame decks have Shaman in them. So he probably doesn't run Shaman, which is fine. So let's see. Lunala. Is he going to rare candy again for Lunala? No, rainbow energies. Alright, narrow blitz. He's probably going to grab a rare candy and a Professor Sycamore, so we're definitely going to have to end him here. And I'm actually... Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll Ultra Ball grab Rest Frame. Switch into the Rest Frame. Let Rest Frame kind of do whatever, and then when the time comes, we can knock out Sokoleo. Oh, if we had... Oh, you know what? If we had... We can't do, we can't because we have the water energy. I was going to say we could knock that thing out, but we can't, which is kind of disappointing. So we'll go with all trouble for my boy Reshiram. And we will switch into the Reshiram. And we will VS Seeker for N. I guess, like, we could have Sycamore, but we gotta end him. Like, he's, he's got, I don't need him to get a Lunala play, you know? So, yeah, we'll do this. Ooh, we even have Max Elixir, which I'll play quickly. Maybe we can find a fire and put it on, like, I'm thinking, honestly, I'm thinking just put it on, like, Shaman or something. Because Lunala's Jack, no, but he, uh, yeah, I guess, oh, we'll do it, we'll do it. Oh, whatever. And yeah, pass. Next turn, I'm really... Oh, we're losing special charge, though. I don't like that. Ugh, that's not good. I really need to lie standard this out and take it out before it does the um, Soul Burst. Because once she does, once he does Soul Burst, it's pretty bad. Does Can he pull it off, though? He does get Rare Candy Lunala in play. But the thing with Lunala, though, it's going to take a wild knockout. So he just attaches. Fine by me. And he ends me. Fine by me. If we get Double Dragon and a Lysander option, I'm going to be super happy. Oh, we were so close. No, he actually does retreat to Sogaleo, though. Okay. Is he going to, like, energy switch? Which, I mean, he can't do and do Soul Burst, because Soul Burst needs a metal, and he can't energy switch a rainbow energy. Okay. Is he going to retreat into Lunala? I really do want to take out the Sogaleo, though, because some Steel Strike does one-shot Salamence. Oh, and we have Psychic Transfer, that's right. Now, luckily Lunala's GX attack is only for basics. My boy Mega Salamence isn't a basic, but he's probably going to do Soul Burst. But then we can knock out this Sogaleo, and I'm going to be pretty happy. 
And yeah. So there is Soul Burst. Now the problem is, is trying to knock that thing out. Because that thing has 250 HP. So that's not good. We join a special charge again, dude. Come on. We'll see. Hopefully he devotes energy to this thing. And my dog needs to shut up from barking when I'm making videos. But I really hope he devotes energy to this Solvaleo. So that we can knock it out and take out a lot of his energy. Because if not, I might even just try and... If we find Lysander, I'll either, I'll either knock out Lunala or Solvaleo. Because Lunala's thing has all the energy in play. Lysander is in our discard. So we need either the VS Seeker or Lysander. Can we top deck it? Or not? That's the question. Can we top deck it or not? No, but I guess honestly it's fine just taking out Sogaleo. So let's Turbo Blaze, get more energy on Salamence, get this thing pretty beefed up for that Lunala. Or we'll retreat into Salamence. And let's Savage Wing. We gotta get rid of four energy. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're doing 260, so all we had to do is get rid of force. So this thing will this will get knocked out for 260. If we find like a mega turbo, it is possible to knock out the Lunala. So Wow. This hand is beautiful. We are gonna be able to knock out that Lunala GX2. Holy cow. Unless he ends me, which I fear he might. If he ends me, then we're not gonna be able to knock out that Lunala. We didn't get a Salmon off the prizes, which is kind of upsetting. And honestly, I, I kind of want him just to do Arrow Blitz so we can knock out Lunala. Uh, so there's Super Rod, getting back Solvaleo and Cosmog. Okay, that's kind of annoying. But, I mean, I don't mind knocking out that Lunala. So let's see, what will he do? Please do not end me, for the love of God. Do not end me. Do not end me. I will be very upset. Be a Seeker. Oh, he might end me, though. Because he could have VS Secret for N. Maybe he'll Sycamore, though. He, he could do Sycamore. Fingers crossed. Now, I, I, why am I thinking? That's jinxing this. He's going to end me. I already know it. I already see the end coming. I see the end coming. Oh, please tell me you're actually going to do Arrow Blitz. Oh, and a Sycamore. Fine by me. I don't mind. You know what? That's good enough. Because now, you know what we still got? That means he didn't end us. Perfect. Sign lab doesn't matter. We're not gonna beastly fang you, so it doesn't matter. I don't even mind that. We have shrine anyways, so please do arrow blitz. If you actually arrow blitz, I'm gonna be so happy. Oh my, is the win? Oh my god, he's actually going for it. Even if he gets Sogaleo, it's not gonna matter. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is good. Now, as long as we get like a Sycamore top deck, I'll be happy. Ultra Ball, I'm not very happy. But my opponent, he is not ready for what's to come. He is not ready. So, boom. So, 200. And one more Mega Turbo. And look at that. My boy is already built up. I'm just going to play that down anyways. Just because that kind of gives us more room for... Um, you know, if we get into two, we won't draw into that. So we knock out Lunala. We take out all of his, well, not all, but most of the energy he had in play. And boom, that is how you take down Lunala with Savage Wing. Wow, my boy Mega Salamence is a true champ. Two prizes. Can we finally find another Salamence? No, we don't. Okay, that's kind of bad. But at this point, uh, can my opponent win? I mean, if he takes out Salamence, we can't do much else. I mean, we're really low on fire. We only have one left in the deck. So we're going to have to rely on doing Dragon Strike to win the game from there. So, yeah. Because we can't really do Savage Wing anymore for a knockout. But it's fine. So, Rare Candy into the Soul. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Just a Psychic Energy. Fine. He doesn't have much energy in play anyways. And an End of Two. Okay, I was expecting that. I'm kind of upset I didn't get any of those Salamences. Like, they're the last two prizes are my only other two Salamences. So we're kind of forced to attack with Hydreigon and Giratina. Alright, we get an end, which is actually kind of good because we get a new hand, and we can force away whatever he got with Arrow Blitz. And then we can do Dragon Strike. And wait, have I used my Pokemon Ranger? Nope. Even I can maybe draw into Ranger and then do Dragon Strike again. So this is good. Gets two cards, but then he's going to lose those two cards, and then we're going to be good. 
And I'm probably just going to have the video here because, I mean, this game is perfect to show off the Solomon deck in action. I don't know what he's going to grab. I mean, maybe he can grab it, and if he fears we're gonna, he's going to get knocked out. But I don't know. I don't know. Lunala is kind of scary with 250 HP and the fact that he rides max potion, but... Hmm. We still have Lysander options on, like, Cosmogs and stuff if you have to play Alright. Top deck gods. Nope. Okay, so we can double dragon. We can... Then Enim, we'll get two new cards. And there's a Sycamore. Holy cow, that could not have been any better. How many shrines have we used? There's one in there, one... Okay, so we got two left, basically. One's in our hand. So yeah, let's just Dragon Strike for 130. I would have loved to just Savage Wing knock him out, but it couldn't have happened. So we'll take a prize, and we'll get another Salamence EX. But we're going to have to discard it. Kind of a bummer. So hey, he brings up Lunala. I mean, he can Max Potion stall me, but that's fine. He might end me to one, I'm kind of expecting that, but we got rid of his two cards that he grabbed, so that could help. My opponent says a surprise face, that better than be a bad sign for him and not me. So hopefully, please tell me that was a bad sign for him. Oh, I can see, there you go. Salamence just wrecked a GX deck. Perfect, that was good. So, yeah, I think I'll wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, actually, how many nice potions did he run? I'm kind of curious, too. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have secret rare. Alright, so there you go. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to have our PGCGO content showing off Salamence, showing you that it can contend against DX decks, but that it also can hit those GX decks with a jab, especially ones that have 250 HP and have healing outs with max potions. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you don't hit the button, don't forget to subscribe to our PGCGO content. Salamence, Savage Wing, 21 Savage. You already know what's up in here. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget my PCO content. Don't forget to comment on the video because I don't get actually no hold on. Before we end the video, I'm gonna open a pack because I want to. I don't eh, do I need to buy a pack? I could save up for that, because I don't have that yet. But I'll buy one Sun and Moon pack. I still need to get like a secret rare nest ball or a secret ultra ball, even though I don't really want a secret ultra ball, but we'll end the video off in the video. Don't be like, oh, oh, oh the end of the video. We're gonna open up one pack and then another video. But yeah, I guess we'll do the outro again. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit love it. Don't forget to subscribe for more PDCGO content. And yeah, I will see you guys on another video. Whatever I pull out of this pack, a uh, fourth lock Tauros. Mm. I just dabbed. I know you guys are going to unsub. I already see. I'm already going on live sub count right now, and I already know I'm going to go down to some subscribers. We got another Simeon. Okay, I mean, we already have seven locked, but geez, we actually got a lock Tauros. We can trade one off. So thank you guys for watching, and I got zero points now, so I got to start playing and try and get more wins and stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and yeah, see you guys later. Bye.